from you the light of the gospel of our cast. At this time we're going to uh, turn into our Bible to the book of Ruth chapter 1. We are going to read from Ruth chapter 1 verse 1 through 22. Um, in the book of Ruth here. And the word of God said, Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem Judah went to sojourn or lived in the country of Moab, Moab, he and his wife and his two sons, and the name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife Naomi, and the name of his two sons, Marlon and Chilion, Ephratites of uh, Bethlehem, Judah. And they came into the country of Moab and continued there. And Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left and her two sons. And they took them wives of the woman of Moab, and the name of the one was Orph, and the name of Ali Ruth. And they, they dwell there about ten years, and Marlon and Chilion died also, both of them. And the woman was left of her two sons, and her husband, of her six. And she arose with her daughter-in-laws, that she might return from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab, how that the Lord had visited his people and given them bread. <coughs> Wherefore she went forth out of the place where she was, and her two daughters-in-law with her, and they went on the way to return unto the land of Judah. And Naomi said unto her two daughters-in-law, Go return each of her mothers to her mother's house, the Lord deal kindly with you as ye have dealt with the dead and with me. Verse 9. The Lord grant you that ye may find rest each of you in the house of her husband. Then she kissed them and they lifted up their voice and wept. Verse 10. And they said unto her, Surely we will uh, return with thee unto thy people. And Naomi said, Turn again, my daughters, why will you go with me? Are there yet any more sons in my womb that ye may be your husband? Turn again, my daughters, go your way, for I am too old to have a husband. If I should say I have hope, if I uh, should have a husband also tonight, I should also bear sons, would you tarry for them till they <coughs> were grown? Would you stay for them from having husbands? Nay, my daughters, for it grieveth me much for your sakes. That the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. And they lifted up their voice and wept again and offered kissed her, her mother in law. But Ruth clave unto her. And she said, Behold, thy sister in law is gone back unto her people and unto her gods. Return thou after thy sister in law. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. Whither thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God, my God. Where thou dies, there will I die and, uh, and be buried. <coughs> the Lord do so to me and more also, if all but death part be in me. Verse 18. Uh, when she saw that she was steadfastly minded to go with her, then she left speaking unto her. So the two went until they came to Bethlehem. Uh, and it came to pass when they were come to Bethlehem that all the city was moved about them. And they said, Is this Naomi? And she said unto them, 
out for all that the Lord had brought me home again and three. Why then call ye me Naomi, seeing the Lord hath testified against me, and the Almighty hath afflicted me? So uh, Naomi returned and Ruth the Moabites, her daughter-in-law, with her, which returned out of the country of Moab, and they came to Bethlehem in the beginning of barley harvest. Father God has come before you, Lord. We give you glory, honor, and praise. We ask that you will bless your word. Hide me behind the cross. I pray for everyone and every churches and those that are watching. Lord, by TV and, and internet, we ask a special blessing at this time on their life. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Today I'd like to talk a little bit on You Cannot Win God. Amen? You cannot win God. Praise the Lord. In the word of God here, we see that the story of Elimelech, Elimelech, name in my God is King. You know every name of a person has a meaning? I listen today. Every name of a person has a meaning. You let me let me, uh, my God is king. Naomi name means pleasant. Amen? So, in the word of God, the, the place Bethlehem Judah Mean house of bread. Mean house of bread. This city has a name. And the, the name or the interpretation, the meaning of the name Bethlehem of uh, Judah mean house of bread. Now, there was a famine in the land, meaning that they were hardship. There was a limitation of food, of bread, of resources in the land of Bethlehem, Judah. Now, Bethlehem, Judah, the geographic location was uh, the will of God for his people to dwell. But even dwelling in the will of God, at times there will be trials. Hallelujah. Amen. At times there will be trials, there will be testing. There might even be hardship in the will of God. But Romans chapter 8 and verse 28, the word of God says, and we know that all things, and we know that all things work together for good. To them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. It doesn't mean because we are in the will of God that everything will happen the way we want it at all times. Not all times everything will go sweetie sweetie and rosy rosy being in the will of God. At times we might go through trials, testing, limitations, just like Naomi and her husband and two sons. They live in the land of that is called the land of bread, but they hold that in the land of Moab, they were plenteous of bread. Nothing wrong for God's people to be wanted to live a life of plenty, a life of abundance, because the Word of God says Jesus Christ came to give life and to give it more abundantly. 
The Lord came to give us life and life more abundantly. But these people, they were dwelling in the will of God and they tried to win the economy by fighting against the will of God. Look in the word of God. Look in the word of God in Ruth chapter 1. We can never fight against the will of God and win God. Amen. Amen. God is always the winner. The devil is the loser. We sing that song. Jesus is the winner man. The winner man. The winner man. Jesus is the winner man. Listen. 
I said the fish spit him up. But then the body started preaching. Amen, folks. Jonah was running from God. You can run from God, but you cannot hide from God. I listen, folks. You can Water that bring forth his fruit in his season, his leaf 
also shall not win up, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Hey, God wants his children to prosper. God wants his children to be the wisest children in the world. God wants his children to be the most blessed children in the world. And Naomi was blessed before she left the will of God. Before she departed from the presence of God, her life was blessed. How do you know that? Let us look at the word of God here in verse 19. So they two went until they came to Bethlehem. And it came to pass, when they were come to Bethlehem, that all the city, the whole city, not one person, but the whole city, was moved about them, and they said, Is this Naomi? And hear what she said in verse 20. And she said unto them, Call me not Naomi, call me Mara, which be bitter, for the Almighty had dealt very bitterly with me. I went out full, and the Lord had brought me home empty. You see, she tried to fight, that family tried to fight against the will of God. Because of the hardship, she went away from the will of God, went away from the presence of God, went away from the house of God. And because of that, she lost her husband. God's judgment was upon their lives. And she prospered in the land, in the house of God, in the land of Bethlehem, Judah. She prospered in the will of God. But they, they tried to fight against the will of God and went away with the ungodly nation, the Moabites, thinking that they will have a better life, but they lost everything. They went out full and came in empty. Folks, let me say this today, that God desires for you to stay in His will and never depart from His will. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For those that are watching my TV and internet, you heard a message. You cannot fight against God and win. You cannot choose to live a wicked life and win. You cannot choose to live a rebellious life and win. God will always win and God is going to hunt down the wicked and bring judgment to them, but God is going to elevate the righteous. Naomi and her family leave with abundance. God out of the will of God after 10 years returned, glory to God. But by that time she lost her husband and two sons. But she came back to the will of God. And look what she find in verse uh, 22. So Naomi returned and ruled the Moabites this her daughter-in-law with her, which returned out of the country of Moab, and they came to Bethlehem in the beginning, in the beginning of barley harvest. Hallelujah. Let me say, folks, they return to God. You that are watching my TV, why not return to God right now? I want to pray for you. Maybe you never accept the Lord as Savior, and you want to accept Him as your Savior at this moment. Why not reach out and let us pray together. Repeat this prayer after me where you are repenting and accepting Jesus. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come in, I come to you as I am. I ask you to please forgive me for my sins. Please come into my heart and save me and give me eternal life. That when I die, heaven will be my home. You said that prayer at this time. Why not give us a call on 691-3101. That's 691-3101. We want to uh, help you start your new life with the Bible study. We want to encourage you. God bless you until next time. Hello friends, my name is Pastor Ram Angad. And I'm the pastor of New Testament Baptist Church. It's so wonderful to be on the TV broadcast.
podcast uh, to preach the gospel in Guyana and around the world. Many souls already contacted me and uh, gave a testimony that they accept the Lord and this broadcast is a blessing to them. I want to say if this broadcast has been a blessing to you, or you like to send a donation so we can stay on the, on the broadcast, uh, you like to send your tithes and your offering or a special donation toward this uh, uh, television broadcast, why not uh, contact me on 691-3101 or follow the information that will be next for our bank uh, information. May God richly bless you and let us hear from you about the goodness of God. Jesus, blessings upon your life.